Hey everyone, um, I'm going to show you all how to make a Project Life layout digitally using Photoshop. You can use other software other than Photoshop um, such as Elements or GIMP. I actually don't know how to use GIMP so um, you'll probably need to find another tutorial on how to do it in GIMP but I'm going to show you how to use it in do it in Photoshop. Uh, this is Photoshop CS6 which is the latest version of Photoshop. Um, Elements is pretty much the same so what you learn here you will be able to adapt to um, Elements as well. So what I'm going to show you during this tutorial is how to insert images into the spaces of the templates, how to do some basic text um, and a few other little bits and pieces that will help you to um, design your layout in Photoshop. Uh, first I want to start by letting you all know where I get my um, Digital Project Life products from. Uh, this is AC Digitals. It is a Becky Higgins site so these are official Project Life um, digital downloads. Um, she has a lot of her kits available on in digital form. Um, including the new Olive Edition, the Seafoam Edition, which is my favourite, um, and also the older kits as well as, um, as Cobalt, which is also my other favourite kit. So um, she's also got the um, Baby Editions um, and the Childhood Editions, and she also has templates. So these are basically the same design as her page protectors, um, but they are in a Photoshop template form. So um, I have basically bought all of the templates, which was um, designs A to J, um, and that basically gives you sort of every um, page protector layout that you would normally have with your um, traditional project life. So the template we're going to use today is this one. When you open it up in Photoshop, it's going to come up with this screen um, with this um, image over the top. Um, Basically what you need to do is you just either need to hide it or you can delete it, just drag it into your trash can. You don't actually need that layer there. So this is the template we're going to use and I'm going to insert some photos and some title cards and put some text on the page to create a layout. Uh, for ease of use, I have created a new folder that has um, all of my um, images in there that I'm going to use today. Um, so I didn't have to hunt around for images. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all the images that I want to use in this layout. And I do that by um, holding down command on the Mac or um, I'm not really sure what it is on a normal PC. So, um, but you just uh, hold down command and then click each individual image. Um, that will select each individual one um, until you have all the ones that you want to use that one. Let's just open up a few. You want to right click or two finger click on the Mac and you want to open in um, Photoshop CS6. And this is going to, going to open all of your images into um, separate tabs. And we want to go back to the template page and we are going to start inserting our images into the spaces. So let's start with this one. There's two ways that you can move this image to the template. You can either drag it and hold and then drop it into there. Or sometimes I find if I'm in an image that is all the way down here and I can't actually see the tab there, sometimes it's easier, easier just to select it all. So can Command A or Control A, I think it is on the PC. I, I might be wrong. Um, and then press Command C, which is to copy. Go back and Command V, and that will paste that in. Um, so yeah, just copy and paste, basically. And that will, um, so there's two ways to move your images from um, one tab to another. So what we're going to do, I'm just going to delete that one for now. We'll just work on the first photo. So I want that photo to go into this box here. Now you can spend a lot of time and resizing it, trying to get it to fit exactly. Um, but the easiest way is to create a clipping mask. So I'm going to look over here on the side. This is my layers um, section here. And I'm looking for this layer just here, that square just there, which is this one. And what I want to do 
is I want to find my image and I want to put my image directly on top of that layer. So that's the square that I want it to go in and my image is directly on top. Now what I want to do is I want to create a clipping mask which is essentially going to put that image inside that image. So you right click or double click, uh, two finger click on the Mac and press create clipping mask and you can see that has put that inside there. Um, to resize it to make it fit in there a lot nicer to get the full image what we need to do is the little squares on the side are where you resize. So if we just do that with our mouse you'll find that you can um, resize it any way you want. But if you actually want to resize it keeping the proportions you need to hold down um, your shift key and then bring it in and that no matter how much I try and drag it down or drag it up it's going to keep those proportions. So we want to drag it down, keep moving it up and then dragging it in until it sort of fits nice and perfect inside there and it's almost the same size as it originally was and you can see it fits really nicely inside there. And basically that's what we're going to do with um, every single image is we're going to create a clipping mask. So um, I've finished with that image so I find it easy just to close each tab if I'm definitely finished with it so that I know what images I've used. Um, I'm going to drag a few more photos in and I'm going to put them in these spaces. So again I'm going to find the layer so it's this box here down the bottom that I'm wanting to put this image into. I'm going to select the image not the box the image. I'm going to two finger click or right click and create clipping mask and again that's going to put it in there and you can resize it whatever size you like to fit inside that box and again um, just hold down the shift key as you're doing it which will keep all the proportions so you don't end up with a distorted image and then we'll close that box there and we're going to let's grab a couple of the title cards so these are from, um, this is from the baby kit for him, um, Project Life Kit, um, which I just love. I think it's very, very sweet. And we're going to move that layer up and we're going to put it above. This is the box we want to put it in. So we're going to put it just above that there and we're going to create clipping mask again and just move it around and you can resize it if you like. And we're going to get rid of that card. We'll put another one in there. And you can also make them bigger if you need to. And to commit the change, once you've um, resized it, you just need to press enter. I forgot that part. Okay, so we're going to pop that one in down there. And the best part is you can actually see which box it is. You know, you just look at the placement inside that square to navigate which box it is. Create clipping mask. Now, here's something that's a little bit, um, I guess, more advanced. Instead of trying to find, you know, where is the perfect center of that box, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to line it up perfectly so it will sit in the very center of that box. So what you're going to do is you're going to select the um, photo layer, so the, the layer on top. You're going to select the box underneath by holding down command and then up here you're going to notice these um, little buttons here. Basically we want to do this one which is going to align it completely um, vertically in the center. So that line it vertically in the center and then we're going to use this one which will um, line it up. Yeah, sorry, this one is going to um, line it horizontally and this one will line it vertically. Um, and then you just move it in. And it's perfect. So that way you don't have to worry about, um, you know, where is the center of the image and um, you can sort of keep doing that until it looks almost perfect. Sort of just lines it right into the middle 
and we're going to grab another journaling card. Again, we're going to find where that image is, that box, create clipping mask, drag it right out so it fills the page. And we want to make that nice and center and even. And then we're just going to move it back in line. Okay. Oh, we need one more. Let's just put another photo in there. Create clipping mask. And we'll just pop another photo in there and that looks fine the way it is. Okay, so we're going to create um, some text. I'm not a fan of completely bold black. I prefer to do sort of a charcoal colour, even when I'm doing darker text. I think it looks nicer on the eye. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm just going to show you some basic text on here. Uh, to zoom in, you just need to press Command and your plus button and that will let you zoom in so that you can sort of see what you're doing. Um, depending on the font will depend on how big 72 pixels is. Each font um, you'll find is completely different. Um, so I like to just click it and start writing. Um, I'm just going to write Max's first week at home. And then you press this key and then you can basically move it anywhere you like and zoom back out. And that is a really basic way of doing a digital layout. Um, you can add all different sorts of embellishments, um, you know, anything else if you are more technolo technologically advanced. Um, but this is a really basic way of just being able to insert your photos, insert your card, um, and then put some text in there. Uh, as if you were doing the traditional project life, but in digital form. And uh, it's just, it's super easy, it's super quick, it allows you to resize your photos any way you like, um, and really you can create a layout in five minutes if you like. It's very, very quick. Something that I'm only new at, I've only just started the last couple of days, but I'm already loving it, I'm loving how easy it is. Um, for those that want to know where to print uh, their pages from, I will be printing my pages at um, Persnickety. Um, Persnickety is recommended by Becky Higgins. Oh, wrong one. Um, so pers Persnickety is recommended by Be Becky Higgins. Um, her Project Real Life cards were printed by them. Um, and they do um, printing of pretty much any size, whether it be Instagram or whether it be 12 by 12 layout. Um, prices start from $1.99 US. And I think from memory, shipping is about $10 to Australia. Um, and pricing goes down depending on how many prints you print. Um, so I would probably advise that, you know, do up an entire album and get them all printed at once. Um, but again, I mean, you only really save sort of 10 or 20 cents per print. So, it, you know, even if you just do 10 at a time or, you know, something like that. But it is relatively cheap when you consider that a digital project life kit you can use over and over again as many times as you like um, and they're under $20 for a digital project life kit um, and you also don't need any fancy page protectors just the basic 12 by 12 protectors um, and that pretty much does you uh, so that's pretty much it um, I hope that helps you all at home um, thanks bye